how's it going YouTube? So today I wanted to show you guys the new iTunes 12.2 and more specifically the Apple Music Edition um, to iTunes. Now I uh, want to kind of do an in-depth just what I've learned and how to use the service because uh, I was confused at first and found a few bugs and um, have still had to use a few workarounds for not just the iPhone but uh, the computer. So I just kind of want to go through everything that has changed and how you use the service. Uh, maybe some of you haven't jumped on the service yet and you're just kind of holding off to see other people uh, check it out. Right now it's $9.99 a month, but there's a three months um, grace period kind of uh, free trial. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice the addition now to the uh, For You, the new Radio has been there before, um, but it has been the addition of the Beats 1 banner at the top here. Uh, Connect, which is uh, the social media part of iTunes now, which we'll get to in a bit, and then the iTunes Store, which has stayed the same. Uh, just jumping around for this video, I have grabbed all the music from the cloud uh, versus having it saved locally. Uh, just so I can show you guys what the difference is between having it on the cloud and then I'll actually save it locally and show you the difference. So uh, let's say we started out here with a brand new iTunes. You just set up your account. What's the first thing you're going to want to probably do? Well, first thing I did, most of you have probably done, is came into the For You. Now when you first set up your um, Apple Music, it asks you to pick maybe one or two artists. And in here, it's going to kind of show you the suggestions from those artists and different artists who are, you know, like what you may like. So this obviously is still a very small sample. As your media grows, it will find more and more things you like. Even in here, for example, like there's a Sublime album I really wouldn't mind grabbing. Uh, definitely grab the Sum 41 and the Dre album. So um, it's based on the music that you look through. This kind of looks a little confusing at first to me. I was like, well, what is this? But these are suggestions that Apple's pulled together from uh, a little bit of the th questions it asks you when it first set up the account. So let's say like we wanted to check this out. Basically what you would do is click on it here. You can see um, partners with Rhymes. So anything that was done with this album here, you can actually listen to the full song. And that kind of goes for everywhere. You can use the navigation to kind of go back. Say you wanted to check out the old Slim Shady album. So you can kind of come in here, and this is Midwest Swing, so this is a, a playlist by Apple um, for the Apple Music. But you could even get right into uh, the song or the uh, playlist. Now, getting back, as you guys can see, navigation is still a little off in my opinion. Um, it was kind of confusing a little bit until I moved over to the new and then new kind of gave me a better view of the store so this is where you get your music now. Uh, at this point I want to point out if you head to the iTunes store here and you get this connecting to iTunes even if you have a subscription it'll you can still wind up in a situation where you'll accidentally go you know go buy now uh, with your Apple Music subscription, this isn't free. So if you are under the iTunes store, which I've actually seen a lot of people talking about and being a little confused, this is still an option to buy each song and hold the right to, eat, to have, like owning each song instead of if you cancel your music subscription with Apple, you lose access to all the music you've downloaded or you know been running off the cloud. So I'm just throwing this out there right away. When you head into this new tab, this is where you're going to start to download music using your Apple Music subscription. So once I kind of figured that out, because I kept bouncing back and forth from the store, and I'm like, I thought with my subscription I had access to, what is it, 3 billion songs or something like that. And I'm like, why, <laughs> why do I still get prompted to pay? So this is why. Now, if you want to search through, as you can see, it glitched out a little bit on me here, but we'll go back in. If you want to search for a specific title, if there's something that you don't see right off the hop here, but we'll jump into something right off the hop first. So maybe you'd like to grab an ACDC album. This is available to you. So if you like ACDC and this is what you like, you can actually go to the little plus here and add it to your music collection. Now when you see the check mark, this means that it will show up in the music section here. We'll see ACDC has now appeared. 
This I wanted to show you guys was the second part I was talking about with um, at the very beginning there with what the cloud means. You can play this music, now I can't play it for you unfortunately because of copyright stupid stuff, but I can play this song right now, it'll stream off the internet no problem. If I want it saved to my laptop locally to play offline, I actually have to click the cloud here, this download cloud, or you can just individually choose each track. I've just found it easier to show you guys this way. And you'll see at the top here, it might glitch out a little bit, but each song will now download in full uh, 256 kilobyte, I believe, um, so far. So these songs will now be available. You'll see this little cloud starts to disappear offline play. So you're allowed right now to save up to 2,500 or 25,000 songs, sorry, and Apple's looking to raise that limit to 100,000, so that's pretty cool. Now, com in comparison to say if I jump over here, you guys can see these are all still in the cloud. So this is saved locally now to my computer. It's even grabbed some of the artwork with it and there's no more cloud. So that's kind of the difference between keeping your music online and offline. This will be especially important if you guys have data caps and you can't continuously stream all your music, right? So we've seen how we get an album for free or you know, with our um, I, Apple Music account. Now, what if we want to search something specifically? Because I just jumped in here and found an album and, gra and grabbed it. This kind of confused me as well because there's no search bar in this section here. What it does, of course, is it integrates it into here. So now you can see um, Apple Music when we're selected. Again, if you're under iTunes Store and you go to search up here, you see this changes. This will search the iTunes Store. So this is going to prompt you, again, to pay for the album. So make sure you're on the right tab, which is the new tab here. Um, Apple really needs to get this management properly, maybe change the new tab to uh, Apple Music so that it makes sense for more people, right? Anyways, let's say I, I want to search for that Eminem album that we seen a little earlier, the old school one. So what I'm going to do is, is in here, it's going to say, make sure you're under the Apple Music here, my top results, so they're going to show me a bunch of these albums, but what I'm looking for is the artist in general. This takes you to the artist page. Now, the artist page is really cool. Um, we've seen it before with the ACDC, that was just an album, but the artists also have their own page, which is also available in the Connect feature, and I'll show you guys the Connect feature after we grab that album, um, but that is, uh, again, the social media part of iTunes. So, if I scroll down here, you can see I have top songs, so these are obviously songs that most people really like and have heard from Eminem, but I was actually looking for the Marshall Mathers LP. I wanted to have the entire album. So what I would do is I come in and click in the album and like we've seen before uh, with the ACDC I'm able to just select this. It's going to now show when I jump back here into music just like that and say hey I want to actually save this to my laptop now. So I would just click that. It'll grab the artwork on the top which is neat because it actually incorporates the connect feature too. So that is how you would find an album or an artist and be able to follow them and go after that. So the social part of this. Now, if we hop back into here and we see, we pretend we're just jump back from the album. At the top here, you're going to see under the name following. So you can actually follow an artist. And what following an artist will do is put them under the connects tab. The Connects tab we've seen there, it's available across a lot of the areas of iTunes now, including in your music library, in the artist library. When you click on that, you'll get a small biography, a little bit of their origin, and some similar artists and influence, but you'll also get this live feed. This live feed, like Eminem has been proudly using, and very successfully, I might add, uh, will allow the artist to share new stuff very quickly to a select group of people to get impressions and to get feedback and this is really neat because you can actually respond to them and tell them and like them. Now we've been jumping around here and you guys probably noticed the hearts. The hearts are sending feedback. It's based on the things you like and the things that you like are going to affect how your um, Apple Music looks and it's also used for Apple to give you like the best suggestions and to rate the artist. So when an artist is 
booming with so many people listening to them. What a great way to show the rest of the world that, you know, this is getting very popular, where before it was more word of mouth. You can actually see the trends that people use it. So if you don't like Apple knowing stuff like that, then you probably shouldn't use the, the Connect feature. But I do think that it's really neat. It gives the artists a great feedback as well as you. So even in the Connect tab here, or you see and I jump back, the Connect tab is just a breakdown so this right now there's only two artists w that I'm following currently that have them but these will actually pile up and you can scroll down and you can see the different feeds of each artist you can go in and you can make comments on them you can go and you can um, well this one you used to be able to blow up but you can send through all your favorite social medias through here read people's different comments I believe you can uh, you can just report it right now uh, I thought you could reply to people's comments but I don't see that quite integrated yet and so that's kind of the social aspect of it um, that's been integrated for or for the artists to the subscribers now the one last thing is the radio which actually didn't get a huge improvement uh, as much as I thought maybe it would as you can see it's kind of lagging out here once it maybe will switch over for us here we go so Basically what has happened in the music here is we now see the Beats 1 banner at the very top. Most importantly is the Beats 1 radio station, which is a worldwide 24-hour um, live ra or DJ radio. Uh, and they play some really good music. Uh, it's work safe. Uh, you're able. There's no swearing and stuff like that. So it's uh, pretty good um, to play in background, kind of drown out that satellite radio that's been playing the same crap for years. So... <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, there's still the integration of a lot of different, um, they seem to be improving this a little bit more to find different radio stations based on the genres. And then there's a little bit more of the featured stations that I see kind of popping up and changing a bit more. And then, of course, your custom radios, which you can do by finding songs you like and stuff like that, and actually pulling it in the menu here. So you can, you know, where is it? new station from artist or new stations from songs. So that is how I would like create a station. Say I want to base a station from Eminem. And I could create one again and you can see I have a bunch of custom ones here already. Um, so I guess at the end of this I will uh, throw it out there that this probably should have been a beta at first and Apple might have want to have tested it. Uh, don't get discouraged if the software doesn't work exactly perfect for you as I have interacted a ton of bugs so far. Uh, home uh, sharing is disabled it's either for bug reasons or just as they work some things out with free trial and stuff like that and a lot of other things that are just kind of like I was saying with the new uh, should probably say Apple music so that people aren't as confused but overall the experience in iTunes is getting better and better and as long as the software gets less glitchy it will be an amazing addition and I'll probably stay um, a long-term subscriber as it basically eliminates the piracy or anything that you guys would need. It's great to be able to support the artists and be able to, you know, connect with them and contribute back, see your feedback make a difference in their life as their music makes a difference in ours. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's the iTunes Apple Music tutorial for Mac or PC. It doesn't really matter. This was shot on a Mac. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.